Vaccine rollout in Dallas County has been a little bumpy so far, especially after it was discovered people were sharing the appointment link online, leading to confusion and overbooking. It's very easy to forward the link to your friends right now, and that is going to change later today and completely by tomorrow. This morning, public health said they sent out QR codes for tomorrow's vaccine appointments. Their hope is that these unique QR codes will put an end to the forwarding and will also help speed up the entire process. We will hopefully, starting tomorrow's, be paperless and not have to be entering all this data by hand so that we should get more timely uh, data on who's actually received the vaccine. When Dr. Philip Wong says data, that includes race and ethnicity. Right now, the county is relying on data by zip code. This map shows COVID vaccinations in Dallas County as of last Friday. The darker the color, the more people who have gotten a shot. The county's goal is to step up their own reporting overall. We've been dependent on the data coming back from the state through the state Amtrak system, and it has very, um, actually, a very limited race ethnicity data. We're, once we, we're in the process of implementing our new reporting system. The program. hope is that Dallas County's new call center will help in reaching the minority communities. Judge Clay Jenkins said this morning they hope to get it up and running on Thursday. I know the uh, contractor is working on hiring uh, Spanish language uh, operators. And finally, the county added a drive through option at the Fair Park site aimed at helping people with mobility issues. Public Health said today they're expanding this option even further. And our intention next week is to offer a, a larger scale drive through uh, for the second doses of people who receive their first dose at Fair Park as those numbers are going to start to increase. In Dallas, I'm Ariel Placencia.